It's me, Sweet Tea. And you know what really sours my notes? All these damn remakes and remixes. 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 You know what really sours my notes? Remakes and remixes. your mama and your grandmama and all them other older people that came before you probably said to you at some point in time. But with that being said, can we stop remaking movies and remixing songs? I mean, can they get the chance to fully become a classic first? And even if they do become a classic, that don't mean bring it back right away. Why we gotta have a version of everything in each and every time period? I feel like we, in this particular generation right now, the uh, 25 to 45 crew, I feel like we are gonna experience this a lot more than those that preceded us. And here's why. As far as movies go, we have so much technology nowadays that's so much better than it was in the way back days that people want to see what those movies would look like now. And I get it. It would be pretty dope. I mean, can you just imagine what some of those classics would look like with today's technology? Come on, Frankenstein and Dracula? That would be amazing. But let's take this a few steps at a time. Can we get the chance to appreciate the newness of an old classic before you shove another one down our throats? Another one. I'm talking to you, movie makers and producers out there, okay? We don't need another King Kong or Godzilla or Spider-Man or any other movie that's been redone to death in recent years recent years. Now don't get me wrong, sometimes it's a good thing to remake a movie. Sometimes. For example, Pet Cemetery is a remake, but check the years in between the original and the remake. There's gotta be at least 25 years in between the two, right? Each movie can be considered scary in their own time period. But then you look at movies like Godzilla and King Kong, and there's so many versions of those movies that it makes you think, didn't they just make one of those a few years ago? What is so wrong with taking the idea or the plot of these movies and changing the storyline ever so slightly to make it a different movie. Like why not instead of a, a gorilla or a dino lizard thingy, why not a whole new creature in general? Like, I mean, birds can be scary. There's even a whole movie that says this. Can you just imagine a flock of big birds attacking a city? A movie that does a really good job of this at least good enough for me to talk about in this video, is a movie called Happy Death Day. Now, if you haven't seen Happy Death Day or the sequel to it, then by all means, go see the movie. Uh, uh, this movie is very similar to the movie Groundhog's Day in that the protagonist, that's the lead for those of you who may not know, repeats the same day over and over and over again without any 
real warning. The difference is that Happy Death Day is supposed to be a scary movie where the protagonist repeats the day she gets murdered. There's even a point in both movies where the protagonist gets to a point of, I don't care. And they start doing stuff that they wouldn't normally do. Like uh, telling their coworkers how they really feel. Or walking around campus butterball naked. They both, however, have to figure out how to get out of the loop. One, by figuring out everything they did wrong and the other by figuring out who murdered her. You see how it's the same movie, but it's different? Musicians, y'all can do this too, because I, I feel personally attacked whenever I hear the music to Freakly or Maria Maria. to not hear DJ Kelly being screamed. See, do you see that? Do you see that first comment? It's so good not to hear DJ Khaled being screamed. I knew I was not the only one, okay? Putting that out there. 